and take care of my children who aren't his. So in order for me to make sure that I give him the proper attention that he needs and that my kids are well taken care of, I can't work full time. I can't. Now he can. is what men want a traditional woman versus a modern woman popular in instagram content creator ace metaphor is always on a rant about what men should be doing for women well he ruffled a few feathers inside the group when someone posted about his rant on modern and on modern women and what men need to be doing for them well let's not take my word for it let's see what he had to say for himself it's because your woman can be a superwoman mean she wants to be why she always got to have her cape on why she always got to be the person to wake the kids up go to work make the food check the homework suck your d make sure you don't forget this she got to be your secretary your porn star she got to be your maid she got to be your chef and now she still got to be your wife and you think that shit is normal because you grew up watching your mom do all those have all those hats and you like well my mom did all this for me so you should be able to she ain't looking to have a son bro it's like the times have changed, but men's expectations of women and what their wives should be haven't morphed with the times, bro. So now we got a lot of men walking around expecting their wives to be their mothers and all these different things. And the only thing you bring to the table is half the rent. Ain't that some only thing that's bringing to the table is half the mother Depends the rent. on the type of woman that you have, because she may want like she may be the one that you know ha is very independent works does everything and then is able and all she wants is an emotional support emotional comfort having that communication and not the physical aspect of it some women want that physical aspect want that give and take want that 50 50 then there's i know some women that won't even like they're very independent as to like you know, they don't want their door open to them or like they are very like woman, yeah, like independent. But I like, you know, personally, I still find chivalry a big thing. So like, yeah, walk on the side of the, you know, sidewalk where the street is a man, open your door, things like that. Like, I think it just depends. I think you are able to mold yourself to how a woman is now, like, and be able not to just think, of the past and those specific traditions and be able to be like okay this is how my mom did this for me i'm assuming you're gonna do the same thing i just have three words what are those vvs appreciation expectation and reciprocation I like it. if a man shows a woman appreciation and doesn't treat the things that she do or does as an expectation and then he reciprocates in some form of fashion he can pretty much get anything he wants and she will be willing to supplement his iniquities let me so, ask you all this because ace metaphor said plenty of things he's like men really want it all and he doesn't and they want they they want it all and they still want their woman to be traditional and while they the women pay half the rent right right that's exactly. what he said Correct. And I feel as though men can have that too, but you can't be greedy. That man can't be greedy. That man can't what say. What do you mean by greedy? He can't expect me to work forty hours a week. You chose that, darling, not him. No, but you want to be strong, thing. independent. It just depends on the woman. So how does yes. it depend? Well, how many because women? Because if I'm making, how, if you make fifty, sixty dollars an hour versus twenty or fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour, I should be able to cut back. I should not have to. I can still pay half the rent and Ain't not no work man full time. Right, Ain't no man out there meeting no woman right now that's not working. 
Right. Rose, no. Just like, and I'm okay with working. So exactly. So once again, to say that he expected, no, you already brought that to the table. You brought your job to the table when you came to him. You already was fully funded, working, taking care of yourself, or however you want to see it. Unless you wasn't when taking, I'm taking care of myself, I wasn't taking care of him either. Think well, about once it. Once again, so just, that's where, just, so then that's where you would have. Garden. My kids are fine with spaghetti from Olive Garden that costs ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. They he better be because that man got to pay for it. Shit, they better be happy with. They better be happy with McDonald's. No, but this man doesn't care about Olive Garden. He still wants a home cooked meal. Yeah, it's he not should, a, and you should, yeah. and you should provide it. Okay, but then okay, so then now, I, what I need to know specifically is what is it? So a what like. By all means, if a woman is cooking, she is cleaning, she is home by the time that you are, she has everything fixed for you in front of you. She also works an eight to five and then is able to also take her like, because some men want, you know, their woman nice and, you know, working out and being healthy and doing all this stuff. So where exactly, what is he putting in? What is he giving? Like, what am I getting out of it? Like, am I getting out anything? Because what am, I'm providing you all these things and this is what you want. What are you giving me? I'm mm -hmm. shutting this whole thing down. I've been quiet. I've been quiet oh. for a while because oh. I had to listen oh. to the nonsense. I'm scratching my head. Look, Go I ahead, was going to be very respectful. I was enjoying all of y'all. First off, let me address my take on modern women and modern men before I get to you, VVS. This is my thing as a, as a guy. That, that I don't care if you're modern woman or traditional, but I would prefer you to be modern because if you're saying you're going to cook and clean and give me fellatio, I want you to get, bring a check and give me fellatio. That's even better. You're going <laughs> to bring me, you going to work and give me fellatio? That's better than cleaning the house. You ain't got to stay home no more. You're going to bring home a check and still give me some top action. Hey, yeah, I'll take the traditional. If that's the, I mean, the, the modern, excuse me. But I had to get that off. But anyhow, that's back to this nonsense you're talking about. Let me tell you, with women, this is the problem I have. Y'all have an itemized deduction list. A guy looks at, I took care of you. There's an umbrella. Everything under there, right? We don't have to name all 15. Look what you did to make yourself feel like you're doing it. I did this. I did that. I did this. I did that. Oh, I'm balling. Do you understand if a guy comes and says, well, baby, guess what I did today? I went ahead and washed your car. You say I don't cook, but I grill for the kids on the weekend. Oh, and guess what else I did? I protected you out here. I'm not letting you be willy nilly if somebody roll up on you. There are a lot of things we do silently, but we we only macho with other men because that's a territorial thing. We're going to puff up with other men. With women, we do it. I don't have to be like, baby, that's all I'm doing. Baby, I might massage your feet. Baby, you know, I did this, that. Y'all do that because y'all trying to, it's a it's a war that y'all have. And y'all trying to put yourselves on the forefront. Us guys, we can operate silently and be okay with that. We only macho in the presence of other men when we feel it's a threat on our home, our kids, our finances, our women. Other than that, we low-key will watch our sports. Hopefully, we getting some um, fellatio while watching sports and have a drink in our hand. But that's another story. Anyway, oh, we man, watching our sports. <laughs> yes. And doing all of that. So why do you have this itemized deduction, P.E.? I mean, personally, I think a man, to me, should provide a security, like, and being able to feel safe around the specific man. One, emotional support, encouragement, genuine, genuinely. And then when it comes to a physical aspect, just be able to have, like, that standard of, I'm doing something and you're able to do, you're able to see that I'm doing something and you appreciate it. So you're doing something willingly in order to do that. Like, I think it's just more along the lines of like having that genuine growth between each other, like, and it not being that I have a certain standard and you have a certain standard. Like I need to work some way in order for you to work, like, like not work into like, as in gaining money, but like, me being if i have a certain way of being then you have to reciprocate in a different way whatever i'm lacking like i would feel like a man would be adding to that and wait see, 
What are I you think, lacking? Uh, we, hold hold <laughs> on, because, because I think wait. because I think that's the biggest that's issue. Support. That's the biggest issue because she said that whatever she was lacking, he should ask her. No, God didn't build it that way. God pulled you out of his rib. It's not the other way around. It's it's whatever he's lacking. You should supply that. And I think that's, and that, that's what I meant. It's the other way. It's the other way around. Like whatever I'm, whatever yeah, I lack, I would hope that he it. helps yeah, yeah. me out. And whatever, whatever he's you, lacking, I'm helping him out. That's that soft film. That's that soft feminism. Keep on coming out of you all the time. You gotta follow on. But I, what what is wrong with soft feminism? Like, it's it, because it's still it. feminism by any name. It's still feminism. It's so that you still just strong. I have a problem with feminism as a whole. No, no. I think feminism is great. It allowed me to get my wife equality. It's but because what? your woman can be a superwoman. I mean, she wants to be. Why she always gotta have her cape on? Why she always gotta be the person to wake the kids up? Go to work, make the food, check the homework, suck your d make sure you don't forget this. She got to be your secretary, your porn star. She got to be your maid. She got to be your chef. And now she still got to be your wife. And you like your like this whole conversation started off as being that a what is a traditional woman and what is a modern woman like being that overall, like if a traditional woman is in the aspect of our heads is being seen as someone who just stays in the kitchen, stays home, does everything. When we're in modern aspects now, like that doesn't end up working out at the end of the day. You can't. You need that's to not man. That's all. Exactly you all chose that. You chose it. But you that's need exactly to have a job why. to live. Unfortunately, like you know, if I, I do not want to work the rest of the days of my life, I wouldn't. But like, I need to work in order to live. So then BBS. with that being said, then I'm going to be a money maker. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to get this bread and we're going to figure it out. Like, and that's exactly <laughs> why before I enter any other, um, and I call marriage a committed relationship, maybe an exclusive, but it's not really committed till you're married. Before I enter any other type of marriage, we're going to have to make that deal that VVS will not work full time. I won't because I want to make sure that I'm serving you as best as possible. So like I cannot marry a man who expects me to work 40 hours a week and then he feels neglected. I just can't do that. Shit. And maybe an exclusive, but it's not really committed till you're married. Before I enter any other type of marriage, we're going to have to make that deal that VVS will not work full time. I won't because I want to make sure that I'm serving you as best as possible. So like I cannot marry a man who expects me to work 40 hours a week and then he feels neglected. I just can't do that and take care of you. Thanks for watching. And good night, bitches.